coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Well, after a week of nice sunny days, rain is back in the forecast and unfortunately right as we head into the weekend. So there will be some areas of heavy rain that are possible. Severe weather not expected with this system. So that's some good news, especially after the weather we had on Sunday. But it's not going to be an all weekend event. Sunshine is expected to return, especially by Sunday afternoon. So as we look at that weekend forecast, as a result of the clouds and the rain, a little cooler tomorrow. We'll see a high around 70, a little on the breezy side as well. And I think there will still be some breaks in the rain tomorrow, but overall pretty soggy day on tap for Saturday. Sunday, though, looking much better. I think we'll start off with some clouds in the morning, but then we'll see the sunshine return by the afternoon. Temperatures will jump back up to around 80 degrees. So last half of the weekend, not looking too bad. As we look at the Storm Team 10 storm track, we've had a mostly sunny sky today, but you can see cloud cover already starting to build in ahead of those rain showers that are still well to our southwest down across parts of Missouri. So it's going to be several hours before that rain gets here, probably another 12 hours or so. So you don't have to worry about rain showers until we get into the early morning hours tomorrow. So the storm tracker is still all dry. We're just seeing that cloud cover move in as we head through the evening. Temperature wise, we've made it into the upper 70s in most spots. A few have made it to 80. It's 80 still in Vincennes, 78 only Washington, Lagodi and Rockville, 70 in Terre Haute, Sullivan and Casey, and it's currently 76 in both Linton, Paris, and also in Brazil. So as we look at future cast going through the rest of the evening hours, we'll just notice that cloud cover increasing through the night, so becoming mostly cloudy. We'll see temperatures tonight dropping down to around 60, so not quite as cool tonight thanks to that cloud cover. And by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, that's when we're expecting the rain showers to move in from the southwest. And at times you'll notice some pockets of yellows and oranges and uh, reds, and that's going to be the indicator that we could have some heavy rain, some downpours in a few spots. Some rumbles of thunder are going to be possible, but again, we're not expecting any big storms with this activity. So that's some good news as we head into the weekend. Here's lunchtime, still seeing rain showers come in from the south, and then it tapers off a little bit as we get into the afternoon. So we may catch some breaks in the rain, but then a little more rain is expected as we get into Saturday evening as that area of low pressure moves through the area. So by the time we get to early Sunday morning, expecting the rain showers to start to make their way out of the area. So that leaves us with a mostly cloudy sky Sunday morning, but then notice as we get into the afternoon hours, we start to break down that cloud cover. Future cast throwing in some spotty showers, but I think most of the moisture will be out of the area. So expecting increasing sunshine as we get into Sunday evening. So latter half of the day not looking too bad. So when it comes to the air show, Sunday's air shows looking drier than tomorrow's. Looking at future cast rainfall amounts, we are expecting around a half inch of rain in most places. Of course, this is going to depend on where we see those pockets of heavier rain. So if you get under an isolated thunderstorm or a downpour, you'll see those totals up higher. You can see Vincennes reporting an inch and Flora two inches. That doesn't mean it's going to be right there, but somewhere in the Wabash Valley, someone will get a locally higher amount of that rain as the system comes through. So for tonight, we'll drop down to 60 degrees under a mostly cloudy sky with those showers moving in late in the night early Saturday morning, depending on how you look at it. A breeze out of the southeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, 70 degrees, 70 degrees for the high, so it will be a cooler day thanks to the cloud cover. A little breezier, too, with the wind out of the south, southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 20. Then tomorrow night, will drop down to 61 as the rain showers come to an end. The wind will lighten up a little bit for us. And as we look at the seven-day forecast, once we get beyond the weekend, we are expecting rain to be back in the forecast Monday afternoon, then another chance Tuesday and Wednesday. This looks to be the more summertime variety, where we see some showers and storms bubble up in the heat of the day. It's going to be warmer and more humid next week with highs in the mid 80s. Then a front will come through late week that will drop us back down to 80 by Friday.